Western Sydney International, Nancy Bird Walton Airport, or WSI, is set to open in late 2026 and will bring exciting new opportunities to the region. The draft environmental impact statement for preliminary flight paths at WSI is now on public exhibition. The Australian Government is seeking feedback from the community to help refine the flight paths for detailed design. An Environmental Impact Statement, or EIS for short, is a document that investigates the environmental, social and economic impacts of a project and the measures proposed to reduce these impacts. It falls under the Australian Government's central piece of environmental legislation, the Environment Protection and Biodiversity Conservation Act 1999. The draft EIS provides the opportunity for the community, industry and other organisations to comment on the preliminary airspace and flight path design before it's finalised. It covers a range of topics, including aircraft noise, air and water quality, health considerations, land use, the Greater Blue Mountains World Heritage Area and impacts on other airports. In the draft EIS, you'll find three sections that give detail on preliminary flight path design, examine potential impacts, and explain how these will be managed. Community input is an important part of the EIS process and will help to finalise the flight paths for WSI. The draft EIS will be on public exhibition for at least 60 business days. And during this period, you can have your say by making a formal submission. Once the public exhibition period concludes, all submissions will be reviewed and addressed in a public submissions report. This will be made publicly available with the final EIS in 2024. Visit our website to find more information on the draft EIS, details of upcoming community information events near you and how you can make a submission.